Hi, I'm Bruno Rinaldi, and the game I'm going to be deconstructing is Fallout 3. Fallout 3 came out 10 years after the Fallout 2 game came out, which a lot of people liked. Uh, a lot of differences came with the game. Uh, mostly the graphics changed. Uh, Fallout 3 uses 3D graphics. Fallout 2 was 2D. Uh, one thing that separates Fallout 3 and makes it unique than other games, uh, along with other Bethesda games, is how the open world aspect is kind of like a living world of its own. As you can see here, three NPC characters are just randomly fighting each other in this random area on the map. Uh, it separates itself from other games like GTA and Assassin's Creed where, although it's open world, uh, everything is kind of like planned still. Like here you see like the characters are just like legit randomly here, they were doing their own thing. Other games like GTA, you just kind of see the same people in the same place every time or in uh, specific missions or specific places, you know, in Fallout 3 and Bethesda games. Um, anyone can be anywhere at any time, really, uh, on the map. So that's just a unique, cool fact about how, it's, although it is open world, it's the same. It's the same open world, but it's different and more unique than everyone else. It's kind of like open world living in its own. Uh, we see here Fallout 2, uh, 2D graphics here. Uh, looks pretty dull, not gonna lie. I uh, don't even know what's happening right now. I think this guy is sh shooting an enemy there. Um, so, obviously, major improvements were made. Um, try and picture like a game like this being played now. I'm sure some people still enjoy it, but 100% uh, would probably not get any mainstream notoriety and probably wouldn't be loved uh, by everyone anymore because, uh, really, who plays games like this anymore? Um, so, yeah, this is gameplay from Fallout 2. You can see completely completely different from almost every game that's made now yep the shooting the scorpion there he's gonna die yeah um other things about fallout 3 um it took real life locations uh like washington dc and put them in the game that's something kind of unique that bethesda does other games do it but as you can see bethesda they a lot of controversy came with this um obviously because they had fallout 3 as you can see here the Lincoln Memorial is in total ruins. Uh, they actually had posters up uh, depicting like war torn Washington D.C. Left a lot of people nervous and scared. Like they don't need another reminder that yeah we're a target for terrorist attacks or anything like that. So that's what the controversy with that. Another controversy in the game: um, drugs were actually put in the game, which made the game banned in Australia and other parts of the world. Uh, there's a mod used here, but in this mod you can totally see the names of the drugs. There's MDMA, cocaine was there, so obviously it's uh, pretty big. Uh, I don't think any of us would want our kids playing this game. As you can see here, the guy is addicted from the drugs. He's going crazy right now. Pulling out more drugs, taking more methamphetamine. That's crazy things. You don't see that in games now. It's weird. Like, you just don't see they, they have to actually change the names. Uh, because the game was banned, so you see him's going on a rampage now, just killing people. Not a good look. Uh, we take drugs and just go on rampages like this. You see, that's the PCP and Coke, they had to change it to Psycho, uh, PCP to Medex, they had to change all of them to get it unbanned and, uh, uh, give a rating of, uh, M instead of 18+, plus, whatever. It would be difficult to sell. Uh, thank you for listening to the video. Hope you enjoyed.